Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Ubuntu onto a mini PC. For this, we will need to download Ubuntu ISO and burn it onto a USB using a program called Rufus. I have already plugged in my USB to the desktop. This is a 15 gigabyte USB drive, but four gigabyte and higher is good enough. Then we will need the Ubuntu ISO. You can find the link in the description box below. Once here, select Ubuntu desktop and download the latest version of Ubuntu. In this case is the 1804 LTS. Now to create that bootable USB, we'll be using Rufus. It's a free application. Again, the link is in the description box below. Once here, scroll down to download the latest version. Now, once you have fully downloaded the uh, Ubuntu ISO and the Rufus app, go ahead and run Rufus. And here on the device, make sure to select the drive, the drive letter pertaining to that USB. If not, click on the drop down to select it. Immediately underneath, click on select and browse for that uh, Ubuntu ISO. You can double click to select or select it and click on open. Then click on start, read the warning, and then uh, click on yes. Again, run in ISO image mode recommended leave it default okay and then okay this is telling you that it'll delete all information on that usb to be replaced with that ubuntu iso once I'm done i'll close and eject the usb so i can plug it onto that mini pc now we could do this on the mini pc as well Okay, for this tutorial, I'm using the Minis Forum Fanless Mini PC uh, Z83-F. This is a very good mini PC. This is a um, <clears throat> four gigabyte DDR3 with Windows 10 already pre-installed with a 32 gigabyte SD card as a hard drive. You can read more of the specs in the description box below. I have a link there. This comes also with an Intel Cherry Trail X5 Z8350 processor. I'm going to be using this uh, fanless mini PC for an own cloud, but for Ubuntu, an own cloud is extremely fast. Trust me. So, okay. I have my um, Ubuntu USB here, and I'm going to plug it onto my uh, mini PC. On this mini PC, to access the uh, boot menu, I will have to tap on F7. If you have a different model, I suggest you uh, Google what function key to press so you can access the boot menu. So I'm powering on my uh, Z83F mini PC. And then I'm going to constantly tap on the F7 key. And here it is, the boot menu. Now I'll select to boot from that USB drive and hit enter. Here I can either try or install Ubuntu. I'll select install Ubuntu. I'm going to virtualize the process for better video quality. Here select the language and click on install. Select the keyboard layout. Here, select uh, if you want minimal or normal installation. I'm going to be using this for on cloud, so I'll select minimal installation. And download updates while installing Ubuntu. This is completely optional. I'll leave it default and click on continue. On this next screen, I will not be installing Ubuntu alongside Windows 10. I'll select Erase Disk and install Ubuntu. I can always go back to Windows 10 in the future if I want to. Click on Install Now 
to continue. Here is giving you a warning in case you change your mind. This is a good time to go back. If not, click on continue. Select the time zone. Enter your credentials here or your login information. I'll select login automatically. I don't want to be putting my password every time I log in. This process can take quite some time, but once done, you'll have Ubuntu installed on your Z83F or any other mini PC because the process is uh, exactly the same. What changes if the it is the boot option at the beginning. So once done, click on restart now and you'll have uh, Ubuntu installed on your mini PC. Now, if I go to the real uh, mini PC here, you'll notice that it's completely installed and I go to disk and you'll see that I'm using the uh, 32 gigabyte SD card as my uh, hard drive. And as you can see, this is the uh, 15 gigabyte USB that I use to install Ubuntu. Okay, now that we have installed Ubuntu onto a mini PC, let's turn this mini PC into a personal cloud storage using OwnCloud. I've done many video tutorials on installing OwnCloud onto Ubuntu and Raspberry Pi. I'm just going to copy and paste the commands from my website. I'm going to briefly go through them. If you want to know in detail what they do, you can read them from my website. The link is in the description box below. So go ahead and navigate to uh, my website here. Scroll down a little bit and let's install Apache 2 HTTP server. <clears throat> like I said, I'm just going to copy and paste and hit enter. It gives me a chance to also test that the commands are properly uh, working. Now let's disable directory listing. And whenever the uh, server reboots, let's make it so it can stop and restart. Now let's install Maria uh, database server. This is the only database that we're going to be working with. Once installed again, let's, let's make it so we can stop and restart if the server, uh, when we reboot the server. Let's secure the uh, <clears throat> the server. Enter the following command, and here just press enter. Set root password. Yes. Enter a password. Make a note of that password as well. Re-enter the password, and then remove anonymous user. Yes. Disable root login remotely. Yes. Remove test database and access to it. Yes. Reload privilege uh, tables now. Yes. Okay, now let's restart uh, the database server. Okay, now uh, let's enter the following command to uh, download and upgrade and install PHP 7.1. Press enter here when prompted. Okay, now let's do an update. And install PHP 7.1 and related modules. Make sure to copy the command and nothing else. Now enter the following command and let's edit uh, the PHP INI. Now for me, I put this uh, 
six uh, lines to edit. But the most important one is the upload max file size to 100 megs, the one immediately on top, memory limit to 56, and the time zone, which is all the way in the bottom. So I'll just search for it by typing Control W and then enter the name as it appears on the screen and change it to, in this case, 256 megs. Now again, Control W, upload max file size, and here change it to 100 megs. Okay, once done, Control W, and search for date dot time zone. And in my case, I'm in the US, Florida, so I'll enter America forward slash Florida. You can keep working on the others if you want. I'm just gonna uh, control X, yes, and press enter to save. And then let's create a known cloud database. Okay, so let's connect to uh, Maria database. Enter the password. This is a password you created earlier, remember? And now create database called on cloud. Okay, now let's create a user and a password for that user. Now you can change it to something other than the default. Instead of user own cloud and password password here, I'm going to change it to my name. So change it. Don't leave the default there. It's not recommended. So, okay, I put my name and then password. I'll enter my password here. Okay, once done, press enter. And let's grant that user uh, full access to the database by entering the following command. Now, we need to change again the default own cloud name or own cloud username to the same name you enter right uh, above. So in this case is Miguel. So I'll enter Miguel and then change where it says password here. The exact same password you enter on the command above. Once done, press enter, then flush privileges and exit. Okay, I'll clear the screen here and install the latest version of OwnCloud. At the time of this video, 10.0.8 is the latest version. In case of a new release from the command, just change the 10.0.8 to the latest version. Then hit enter. Okay, once done, let's unzip it. Let's move OwnCloud to the HTML directory. By mistake, I copied the command and left the S out. So make sure to copy the entire command and hit enter. Now let's set permissions to the uh, HTML OwnCloud directory by entering the following commands. This commands will allow us to edit, modify, or execute anything inside of that directory. Okay, now let's edit the onclot.conf. Okay, now copy and paste this uh, block of text where it says avoiderrors.com or www.avoiderrors.com you can edit it to something other than that. For example, the IP address or the LAN IP address of the uh, own cloud server, or you can change it to whatever you want. This is not critical. So I'll just copy and paste it. Just because you haven't modified the, the uh, server name or server al alias, that doesn't mean you won't be able to connect. You still are going to be able to connect. Once done, press Control X, then Y, and Enter to save.
Now let's en enable on cloud and rewrite module. I'll do this a little fast. Every time you enter a command, it's going to ask you to restart, but enter all the commands or execute all the commands. I'm sorry. And then at the very end, then restart. Okay, upon restart, we will need to access our own cloud instance from the LAN. First, we'll need the IP address of our server. So type ifconfig and hit enter. In this case, I need to install NetTools. So enter the following command, apt install NetTools. Keep in mind that if you need to access your own cloud from the WAN or outside of your network, you would first need access to it from the LAN. It's critical. If you don't have access to it from the LAN, you'll never have access to it from the WAN. Our IP address is 10.0.0.163. Write it down or make a note of it. Once done, we can access our own cloud instance. Um, from another computer inside of the same network or from the same Ubuntu PC you have own cloud installed. I'm using a different computer in the network and I'll enter 10.0.0.163, the IP address, forward slash own cloud and hit enter. Once here, create an admin account. Now underneath of that, where it says database user, database password, database name, we will enter what we created earlier in our um, when we were configuring our database. Remember, so it'll be Miguel, the password for that user, and OwnCloud, which is our database. Then hit finish setup. Re-enter the account you created into the username and password and you'll be able to log in to your own cloud instance without any problems thank you for watching this video my name is miguel if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below thank you